Uh, let's see what it's looking like. I think you're a natural, Peyton. Let's see how it goes. There we go. Honey sticks are pretty cool. It's a good way to make a little bit of money. Uh, people love them. Quick little shot of energy right there in a straw that you can take wherever you want to go. If you've ever been interested in making honey sticks, this video just might be for you. I'm going to do three things today. Number one, I'm going to show you how I've made them for years, but then I've got a couple boxes in there and we're going to show you a couple of other ways to do it that I think you're going to find very interesting and might even be interested in trying yourself. All right, to start off with, I want to show you how I've been doing it for the last few years. It's very tedious and slow, but it, it does work and we've made a lot of straws this way. Now, first of all, the straws we use are just these uh, 7.75 uh, drinking straws. We get them on Amazon. So all we do here is we take this little dispenser right here and we just fill the straws up with honey like this. See how tedious this is. Now the honey is about room temperature. If it's a little warmer, it helps it go faster. And fill it up to where it's probably three quarters of an inch or so from one end. And I do two at a time takes a little practice. At first, we were just doing one at a time. Kind of tilt it up and let them drain down a little bit. Put in the impulse sealer here. Put it in like this. Here it clicked. You can wait a few seconds afterwards. I counted maybe four or five or even six. Let up and the ends are sealed. Flip it over and do the other end. Three, four, five, and that's how we do it. This impulse sealer here is the key. You just gotta get a good one. I can't remember what brand it is. Um, American, I think International Electric, something like that, but this is the impulse sealer we got right here. I'll see one more straw here. Let me show you once again, just fill it up. Once again, if the honey's a little warmer, it works better. If the honey's like about 100 degrees or so, it works so much faster. And then what I'll do is I'll hold it like this right here. Let this end kind of work its way down a little bit. Then it seems to work better for me if I flip it over and put the dry end in first. That didn't have the honey in it. Click. Three, four, five. That one is about right. Flip it over. Two, one. Two, three, four, five. And there you go. We've probably done thousands of straws like this, but you can see how tedious that is. But what I want to do now is go over here and show you what's in these boxes. I think it's going to greatly improve our honey straw making experience. I got on honeystickfiller.com and ordered two products. This one is called the Gold Rush Honey Stick Machine, and this one is called the Honey Stream Honey Stick Machine. And so we'll break into this one first. Um, I've been kind of wanting to get one of these for a while. The guy that created it, his name is Tony. He has a store called Anthony's Beehive. And finally I was able to get one of these things. There's a lot of stuff in here. This box is really heavy. So it's got all kinds of stuff in here. Let's see what we got. I got the whole kit, everything that comes with it. And the first thing, very important, is a, an impulse sealer. It's just the one that they use and recommend. So I figured I might as well order the whole thing. It's a much bigger one than the one we have already. It's like a nice heavy duty one. It's a Lensfield brand impulse sealer. These are some straws. They come pre-sealed on one end, which is kind of neat. This little holder for the straws, so you can seal them easier. I believe that's what that is. We'll find out in a little bit. We got some instructions. Looks like we have two of these little holders right here. And I think there are 2,000 straws in here, so it's a lot, enough to do a lot of straws. This is the uh, wheel that you put the honey in, I believe, that spins it out to fill up the straws. Okay, it looks like it sits like this. Okay, so here's the actual spinner that you attach the wheel to. Looks like it's super heavy duty. Looks like I need to screw this in so it can spin. And here are the straws. They go in just like this, it looks like. It's been a couple of nights since I opened up the box and pulled the machine out. And I did a couple of runs with it 
and I had some problems with it. And so I called Tony, the creator of the machine, and he gave me some tips of things that make a lot of sense that I didn't think of. First of all, the instructions come in here and uh, it has this website here at the top. I went to that website and watched the video, but I didn't actually look at the instructions. So you have to find the actual instructions. They're written pretty clearly as to how to use the machine. He did send some glue with it. You can glue these, I like to call them the end caps, these little, uh, all they are is little lip balm dispensers here. And you stick them in here and you can glue them, but I didn't glue them and they seem to stay in fine. You just push them in hard, you hear them pop. A little bit, a little bit of a pop or a snap in there and it's in there and those things don't come out very easily at all. I kind of like the idea of doing it this way because then they're easy to pull out and wash if you need to do that. When I spun it the other night, I noticed that a lot of honey was kind of spinning out of the hub and running down the straws. So it ended up being kind of a sticky mess. We went ahead and made 80 straws and they turned out really nice. It's just they were sticking. I had to kind of clean them up and wash them. And the straws actually need to go down into the hub. It's almost like a little tunnel in there. And he told me it needs to be seven eighths of an inch into the hub. So basically I put a mark right here, seven eighths of an inch. They stuck it into the little hole right here and then put it through here to see how far it needed to be. See the mark right here? So then we had to adjust these end caps to the right depth so that the straw would tap up against the little plunger in there. And now that, that should put them all at the perfect distance from the hub. The way you do this is it's just a, once again, it's a chapstick dispenser. You just turn it back and forth to move it out or up that way. So we have them all adjusted properly. We're going to go ahead and finish loading this thing up and then we'll give the machine a try. Stick it in that hole, then back out against the end cap. Just like so. We've got all the straws loaded up here. As you can see, everything looks like it's in there just right. One thing that Tony also said is that you only need to do two of these screws right here when you attach the hub to the wheel. He said that works out perfectly well and you can kind of alternate back and forth if you, as you apply it. I'm gonna to try to pull in about 170 to 180 uh, cc's. And this honey is actually at room temperature so it might be a little difficult to do, but I'm gonna try and pull it here. Oh yeah. You can heat the honey up a little bit, um, but talking to Tony, he suggested almost it works just as good if you do it at room temperature and it's less likely to leak around the straws. And so we're gonna try it at room temperature and it's thick. <laughs> you can also just pour it out of a beaker or a, any kind of measuring cup or whatever. If you do that though, you have to keep in mind that there'll be some on the edges. So you might need to get a little bit extra all right, we're at about 175 or so. So now I'm just gonna put it down in the hub here. It'd be easier actually to use the syringe, obviously, if it was a little warmer, if the honey was warmer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to figure out a little easier way to do that. Now if you look right here, you'll see the honey is starting to go right into the straws. So this is kind of a neat little feature here. It's got like a foot pedal, but I'm just gonna use it with my hands here. Just turn the machine on. You hit this button right here, and you just kind of start to turn on the machine. And it spins. You can see the honey starting to spin out. Goes all the way up to three. There we go, 320. Look right here, you can see the honey coming out. It's pretty cool. Should we see what it looks like? Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's, it's starting, it's just not out there yet, so it's got a ways to go yet. Just gonna keep spinning it for a little while here. Ah, let's see what it's looking like. getting there. Look at that. Not quite yet. They're not full yet. 
It's definitely working better tonight because I think the straws are actually inserted further into the hub like they're supposed to be, and uh, it's working well. If you insert them too far into the hub, though, the honey can't get into them as well. So you just got to make it that seven eighths of an inch. Looks like it's closed back in here pretty good now. So we'll go ahead and turn it off and see what we got. He said every time there's a couple that don't fill all the way up, and there's one there and there. Let's try a little bit longer and see if they fill up, and if they don't, we can just leave those for the next run. Hey, it looks like we got them all full. Isn't that neat? Look at that. Every one of the straws is full. That's so cool, man. That's so much easier than what I've done in the past. So now we got to remove the straws and get them ready to seal. The trick here, from what I understand, is to, as you remove them, slightly pinch the straw. And what that does is it squeezes a little bit of honey out of the end back into the hub so you'll be able to seal it better. It's a little bit of honey out of the end. I may have squeezed a little bit too much out of that, but you set it in a little container like this. And that leaves a little space on the end to seal. And as, we, as they rest here for a little while, that honey will drip off the top and it will make it easier to seal. So I'm going to not squeeze quite as much out on this one. Just squeeze a little bit. Just like that. I think that's about right. That might not be quite enough. This is something I got to still work on and perfect a little better. So I'll get it perfected as I do more of them, but this is working really good. I'm really impressed with it so far this evening. When you do things right, it's amazing how good they work. So one thing we're noticing is as we put them in here, as the honey drains out of the top of the straw, it fills it up a little bit too much. So you need to pinch them a little bit harder. You need to have a little more of a distance up here at the top to be able to use that sealer. It needs to look more like this one. That one's about right, right there. All right, so now we have our rack here to seal it. I had some issues the other night getting the temperature just right, so put it on about six and a half or seven. And then just take the straws. They're a little sticky now, I think, because we were messing with them a little bit more, trying to get the uh, extra honey out, but you just put them in the rack here. I'm actually trying to put them flat like this right here. I, you know, kind of turn it so it's flat down against the bottom. That way when you seal it, it'll be flat up here and it'll be kind of the same orientation in the straw. I don't know if it matters that much, but. So each of these racks holds 12. Okay, so we got them lined up in there. Okay, so you lay them in there. You gotta make sure that they stay up there. Push it down on them. Here, a pop. One, two, three, four, five. There we have our honey straws. They got a little bit cooked, but we can just cut these little, it might be a little bit too hot. I gotta play with the adjustment, but they're sealed. And uh, I'm gonna put them in here and then I'm just gonna wash them and I'll cut those little plastic ends off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this down to about six and we'll try it again. I think that was a little bit too hot. I'm gonna try and go in from this side this time. Click, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, they're sealed really nicely there. So I'm just gonna pull them off. I've already I put some water over here. I'm gonna put them in here. And that'll get the honey off of them. They should be ready to go. You can also test them when you're done and make sure they're sealed good, but I think those looked great. Well, I've got it loaded up for one more run here. I really like this uh, Gold Rush honey stick filling machine. It works really great. I think if you want to do a lot of honey sticks in a hurry, it's the way to go. You can just go to honeystickfiller.com and type in Bruce 10 and you can get a 10% discount on this. Okay, so now we're gonna open up the Honey Stream honey stick machine here. I also got this from Anthony's Beehive. So, so I have a few instructions. It's the actual machine, I believe. It's pretty simple. I'm not really sure how it works, but we're about to figure it out. There's the tray. We have this. Of course, they sent me some straws. 
as well, these are the ones that are sealed on one end, just like with the Gold Rush machine. A little nitrogen cartridge here. I guess that's that kind of powers the machine. Okay, I got my son-in-law Payton here, and he's going to help videotape this. And he's got a mic on, so he's going to help walk me through it. We've watched a video of how to use this machine, and so we're going to try and actually get it put together here and show you kind of what it looks like and, and the initial steps. Okay, once again, this is the first time using this, and so Payton, be, uh, be sure and chime in if you got any ideas of things that we need to do here. So, you know, it's got this tube right here you pull out. It's got this little device here you can use to pull this little black thing out of here. Push it on. Yeah, this. There you go. Make sure the gasket's on there good. There it goes. Okay, so this is the basic canister right here. This little black piece came right here and we'll stick it in. I think this is like the dispenser part of the machine here. This little metal straw or tube right here. Kind of helps hold it in place. Seals it on there like that. We're going to go ahead and pour honey in here. It says it holds up to about two pounds of honey. So I'm going to pour, this is pretty close to two pounds. I'm just going to pour it in here. Uh, Adam, uh, the creator of the product, says that it holds the seal pretty good. So if you don't want to do 150 straws every time, you can just leave the machine ready to go and you can do some more uh, a few days later if you need to. So that's pretty good. We'll call it pretty close to two pounds there. All right, so we put you drop the black sleeve drop in the first. Drop the black sleeve in. So we'll drop Pop it in things, there. Yeah. And drop this in there like that. Is that correct? Yep. That, that, as far as my understanding goes. Now, one thing that that he says to do, I'm gonna screw this on. Instead of screwing the top on like this, take the canister and screw it. Like I actually do this right here. So anyway, I gotta get that screwed on. There we go. You wanna get this uh, nice and tight uh, because it's gonna be charged with this little nitrogen canister here. So if I can just pull this off, right? Yeah. Then as you screw this onto there, it's gonna puncture the tip of that nitrogen canister and release it. So it's just good to know that once this is punctured, you can't reuse that canister. Yep. So as soon as this is on, you can't unscrew this or else you'll lose all that pressure. There's several little canisters, there's 10 canisters in here though, so you got enough of these to last a while. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and screw it on here and we're gonna try this thing out. Screw it on, I think you'll hear it probably release. There it is. And now what that's done is this release pressure into the honey filler. And so now we're gonna use this little trigger right here to push honey up through this little metal straw into our honey straws. So the straw and you put it over this like this. I'm gonna try this, here we go, first time. Take a little while to fill up maybe. There it is, now it's coming up now. It's pushing the straw up and you just wanna to stay ahead of it. That is pretty cool. Oops, I'll take a little practice here. I'm not moving the straw up fast enough. Okay, I need to stay, move the straw a little faster. See, I've got a little bit too much space right there. There's a little bit of honey right here. But anyway, so that's my first straw. I don't think that's too bad. He also says when you put the straw back on here, if it's got honey dripping down, if you twist it, it'll pick that honey up and it won't make as much of a mess. Yeah, that works pretty good. So now that it's full, it ought to just fill up a lot easier because it's right there waiting to come up. So I'm gonna try and stay caught up to the honey here. Yeah, that one went a lot better. Wow, that's pretty neat, I like it. Pretty easy learning curve, right about there. Got about, what, paid in about five eighths, three quarters of an inch. Right there, that'll leave room to seal it. I think yeah, that one went yeah. about perfect. Really not many bubbles in there. That's pretty cool. I like this machine, man. It's real, real straightforward and simple. Yep. 
If you want to get one of these or one of the gold roast machines, just go to honeystickfiller.com and uh, put in the code BRUCE10 for a 10% discount on the machines. It's kind of fun. It's really satisfying to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Peyton's been filling some up. We'll put it on there. And there we go. See if we can get it without any bubbles in it. Oh. Got one in there. That's all right. Boom. Starting to get the hang of it. And that's the last one for the rack. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna seal these with the sealer here, just like before. There we go. I'm actually gonna kind of wash them off. They do get a, they're really not sticky, but it's just a good idea to wash them off, make sure they're not sticky before you, before the finished product. But that's it, man. How about that? That's pretty cool. Works yeah. well. We finally got the Gold Rush machine figured out. It works great. If you want to do a lot of straws in a hurry, I think that's the way to go. That thing will knock out just hundreds of straws in a very short period of time. If you're a little bit of a smaller beekeeper, if you don't need to do quite as many straws, this is definitely a really good little honey stick machine. It's very simple, very clean. It's been a fun project. Peyton, what'd you think? Yeah, I thought it's a great little machine. I have zero experience and it's super straightforward and easy to get the hang of. So I appreciate y'all watching. It's been kind of fun. I look forward to this, uh, to using these machines and, and making more honey straws for folks. Y'all take care and we'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.